uh, 23 here at Big 550 KTRS. She's our TV critic, and she's with the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, stltoday.com. Good morning, Gail Pennington. Good morning, guys. Hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. Can you, I, missed you last week, Kelly. Oh, thank you. I missed you, too. Uh, I, I know you're not watching The Bachelor, and I'm not watching The Bachelor. Oh, I, come on. Now, is, the, is this the point where we admit we're both watching The Bachelorette? I am not watching The Bachelor, but, uh, but uh, <laughs> a friend of mine is, and they told me that the guy, some guy finagled his way on the show, and now he's sleeping with the girl? Well, do you remember this guy? His name is Nick. He's, and he's the one that, at a, after the final rose a couple of seasons ago, accused the woman of having, he said, if you weren't going to pick me, why did you have sex with me? Correct, right, yes. This is this guy, the same guy. Right, and he finagled his way on sure, this show. Yeah, we're not sure what happened between them behind closed doors last week. Oh, we're not sure. Okay. Well, I mean, we didn't see it. That happens. Well, well okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. I, for some reason, it keeps getting saved on my machine. But <laughs> now, and I only looked at it because they were in, in Ireland. So I, I, I wanted to get some of the pictures of Ireland, but I didn't see it. And then I saw something where they were moaning and groaning behind a door or something. Well, you did watch it then, in other words. Well, no, I fast forwarded through it to, to, to see the Ireland parts. And then I thought I saw the Ireland parts, and I stopped it, and there was heavy breathing behind a door, so I had to go to confession. So the, that's... Uh, the Bachelor and Bachelorette do not do very good job of showing us the countries they travel to. I sometimes wonder why they even bother. You, you, I agree. They should... Well, like, if you watch The Amazing Race, you totally see the countries that they go through where right. they race, and that's one of the things... I love about it, but the the bachelor and bachelorette just lose it. I'm with you. All right, let's yeah. talk uh, TV this Glad week. I got that out of the way. A shortened, <laughs> a shortened week because of Fourth of July. Anything we should pay attention to? Well, there's actually a lot of stuff this week, and uh, if people are looking for stuff to watch over the Fourth, I have a um, column coming up in Friday's Go magazine that will be, you know, detail all the various marathons and and things that are going to be happening over over the weekend, but. Um, CBS has a, a, a new 13-episode series called Zoo, and it's not just strolling around the St. Louis Zoo, although, good heavens, that would be a good show, wouldn't it? Mm, sure. <laughs> I think yeah, so. Yeah, the polar bear and everything. I would love that. i got a problem with the zoo, but anyway. This is from the, a book by James Patterson, who writes, you know, gruesome thrillers, and it's about how animals all over the world start attacking humans. Hmm. But why? I th the previews look good, Gail. It looks really scary, doesn't yes. it? Yes. It sounds like Planet of the Apes, but with all the other animals. I'm going to be worried about the animals, though. Who Who is James Wolk? Is that the guy from oh. Mad Men? Yes. That's Bob Bob Benson from Mad Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He was in that movie a couple of years ago, that, that Hallmark movie about the teacher who had Tourette syndrome. Yes, he was, and he played um, Robin Williams' sidekick in that sitcom Robin Williams had. Oh, like right. two seasons ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one, okay, the one on, yeah. Right. All right. But I haven't seen any of this. Apparently, they're working on it right up to the last minute and haven't made a pre put a preview of it. That's uh, Tuesday on CBS. What else we yes. got? Well, we have Scream MTV is adapting these slasher movies as a series. To be a TV and show. If you, yeah, TV series. Mm -hmm. And if you like to um, see high school, beautiful high school students get what's coming to them. And this shows for you. <laughs> or you can rent Scream 1 through 14. Right. Yeah. All right. That's on MTV. Mm -hmm. um, what's this one food on Thursdays on NBC? Food Fighters. I like Food Fighters, uh, but I really like cooking competitions. I'd pretty much watch anybody compete cooking things. Yes. Um, it's This is the one where an amateur chef comes on and he chal is challenged by a professional chef and they have a cook-off and then if the amateur wins he goes to the next level and gets a better chef and then a better chef and he can win a lot of money if he makes it through and the surprise last year was that the amateur chefs did really well hmm. hosted by former st louis and adam richmond i don't know that he's a former st louis, louis he was on the show a couple of weeks ago and he was dating a girl he, he were he came to perform at the um was it the was it at the rep he had a play at the rep Met a girl in St. Louis, dated her for like six years, flew into town the whole time, and knows every great restaurant here in St. Louis. Well, how about that? That's why his Ooh. his other shows come here so much. Right, right. He knows. All, I mean, he was he was you know naming restaurants like the back of his hand. Yeah. 
How about that? Yeah, I mean, he know. I mean, like like owners of restaurants too. He knew Pappy's and and, mm-hmm. and I mean, it was all, all over the place. Yeah, he did crown. He did crown candy. Crown thing, candy, yeah. but yeah, he did. But I mean, he knew like the names of the the waiters and the waitresses and the owners and the valets. And I mean, it was crazy what he knew. All right. Um, right. Uh, the musical 1776. Yes, that is going to be on. That's my favorite all-time musical. Yeah, that's in my list in Friday's paper. And also, um, what I like to watch is Yankee Doodle Dandy. Ah, oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime you can have the Founding Fathers break into song, I think, is right up the 4th of <laughs> July's alley. Cl- it's such a clever... Um, take on that time in history. It's and it's it's the founding fathers break out in song. You can't ask for more than that for the Fourth of July. No, you cannot. Uh, Gail Pennington, have yourself a good week. When can we read you? When can we see you? Well, in addition to my Friday column, I'll have something Sunday in A and E, but no live chat this week because of the holiday weekend. No mm-hmm. live chat. No live chat. No live chat for you, Gail. Have a good yes. Fourth. We'll talk to you on Monday. Bye, guys. Eight thirty here, Big Five Fifty KTRS. Now look.